A has officially new purchasers, and that is Anthem Sports and Entertainment, entered in an agreement to purchase a majority interest in TNA Impact Wrestling. With that being said, Dixie Carter is now out, and Jeff Jarrett is now uh, back with the company. And uh, just my thoughts. Uh, New management is not the worst idea for TNA. But then again, Anthem are the people that continue to employ Robin Black. So, they're not... They also are <laughs> not free of making long-lasting choices that are not the best. We'll see what they do. I've been a fan of TNA a very long time. You know, personally... At this point, I think the brand is damaged and needs a major reset starting with no more. It, 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 they just, they, listen, they just, they do have some talent in their lineup and they need to get away from allowing politics to weasel into the show. EC3 should be their franchise player at the moment. Eddie Edwards, come on. EC3 has the look, ring skill, and the charisma to be much bigger than TNA allowed him to be. Edwards, you know, should be headmanning their X division, not world, not world title. Cody Rhodes has a lot to offer if they can get him to commit. Brandy Rhodes, though, I don't think she has no place in main or top of card angles as a wrestler. Between her and Maria, that uh, interaction there was just painful to watch. Lose guys like Spud, Gardo. I'm honestly, I'm not even sure if he's there on the Focus on building the brand in a positive and creative way. Having said all of that, unfortunately, at this stage, I kind of expect them to do exactly opposite of just exactly what I laid out. Because let's face it. Unfortunately, sometimes TNA, more often than not, has been TNA's biggest hurdle. I hope all is well, and I look forward to speaking to you very, very soon.